Well, I guess I'm recording now. <clears throat> the, uh, it's about August of uh, 2019. I took a lightning strike uh, in June. So the station has been down for the better part of uh, three months. So we've gone through the process of rebuilding it. Looks like the lightning strike probably came through Spectrum's uh, cable modem, but uh, it took out uh, the rig and the shack and the amplifier and the antenna tuner. And uh, the uh, rotor on top of the tower didn't work and the antenna switch on top of the tower didn't work. And so we decided what we needed to do was uh, place all of those items and at the same time pull the tower down and clean up the top of the tower so there's less wind load during the hurricane season. And that meant taking the hex beam down and adding a 6 meter, 2 meter, 440 uh, Yagi to the top of the stack of the stuff. So that's what you see in the image. The uh, <clears throat> tower came down easily enough. I had to uh, climb the tower. I had it nested. I had to climb the tower and physically turn the uh, uh, mast and uh, orient the boom so that it was uh, east-west so that the tilt plate would work. And since normally my antennas pointed to the uh, west and the tilt plate configuration required it to be to the east, I reversed the antenna so that uh, it would be pointed west when the tilt plate uh, was in position to bring the uh, tilt the tower over and as a result uh, had to disassemble all the top of the tower to, to make that happen. Uh, but before I could even do that I had to climb the tower, take the pin out of the mast uh, and the rotor and physically uh, turn the rotor which I did with a pipe wrench, actually channel locks and uh, that worked out fairly well. But first time I climbed the tower probably in six years. <laughs> so that was kind of fun for me to get up and do that. Luckily I've seen about my climbing belt and uh, those kind of things. Tilted it down and uh, took the hex beam off at of the top and uh, replaced the rotor. Uh, found that I could use a crowbar to inch the mast out of the uh, uh, top of the tower, give myself enough room to disassemble the rotor and then move the mast the rest of the way out so that I had enough room to slip the old rotor out and slip the new rotor in. I went from an 800 to a 2800 Yesu, so it's a much stronger, stouter rotor. Weighs almost three times as much. A little bit longer, has an additional set of bolts clamping the uh, mast inside the rotor top. I had to redrill the hole to uh, get the uh, non-slip bolt through the hole in the uh, top of the rotor. But managed to do all of that <coughs> slowly but surely with the help of one daughter to uh, uh, lift the mast up, uh, lift, the, lift the boom up, put it back in place and we uh, put it back on the uh, on the tilt plate. So what you see now is the uh, uh, high gain uh, Discovery 72 uh, linear loaded two element beam on the Force 12 C3 extended boom set up for a C4 so that I've got 40 meters and 20 and 10 and 15 on the same boom greatly reduces the amount of wind load that you might have on a uh, four band uh, HF antenna system. And then above that I've got the uh, six meter uh, three element uh, beam which I've never had a chance to play with but thought I would since the local group uh, here in De Leon Springs, the land uh, area of Florida. Uh, they do a six meter net each week. I wanted to be able to participate in that. So finally put the uh, six meter antenna up on top of the stack of stuff. And then I've got two meters and 440 all the way at the top on the uh, about a five element Yagi. And I'm hoping to be able to point that towards I-95 and talk to folks as we, uh, <coughs> as we uh, complete uh, our activities for the day as they drive up and down the simplex. Anyway, 